Hey, it's Natalie Zafat, and I'm here with Reg Jones, who's Samsung's Director of Sales Solutions for Financial Services, and we're talking about the future of banking. So what are some of the challenges banks are facing these days because of digital disruption, and what are some of the solutions? Well, when you think about digital disruption, it really has to do with the four primary channels through which customers engage the bank. They have mobile, they have online, they have in-person, and they have call centers. So we have to keep that in-person segment, the retail branch, relevant. How do we keep the foot traffic there meaningful? And it's changing that bank branch experience from transactional based to true clienteling and advising. So why is a retail space still such an important place for a bank? So a retail space truly is your brand experience. It's physical, it's an opportunity for you to distinguish yourself outside of the bits and code that would exist within an application or online. It's where the human element comes into contact. And that human element really is key when understanding that people want the branch to provide advice. They want the branch to provide them with that next level of service that they don't think is available just between the glass. And as a result, the branch becomes significant when moving customers along a journey that includes more complex transactions. So what are some of the strategies that banks are employing to get those customers in the door? And you're right, they need strategies because of course today is an age where you want the customer to come in so that you're showing that it's customer centric inside the branch. Previously branches were really about the transaction. What was the volume of tellers that could transact cash deposits and withdrawals per hour? And today it's really about how can we take our customer on a journey with us? How can we be an advisor at each of those different life circumstances and provide them with the appropriate bank product that really meets the needs of that different life stage? And as a result, the bank branch is that center where they're having true customer contact, true human touch. So banks are obviously shifting to a more customer-centric approach. Yes. What measures are they taking to get there? Well, there are tremendous steps that they're taking because think about the bank in terms of a retail environment. It has the most customer data of any retail environment you can possibly experience. And as a result, the bank has a unique opportunity to tie that data into true analytics and recommendations for their associates when they're having thoughtful conversations, advising conversations with their customers. And that is truly significant and game-changing within the branch. So what does the bank of the future look like? The bank of the future is a very important topic these days and certainly has received a lot of speculation in industry press. You can boil it down into a few simple concepts. One, it's focused on the customer and advising the customer, moving away from a transactional-based relationship. Two, it's technology forward, bringing those advisors away from their desks and allowing them to have intelligent conversations with real-time data about their customers. And lastly, it's mobile first. When you have an associate who's moved away from their desk, they need technology that goes with them so that that entire experience is perfect for the customer. For more videos like this, subscribe to our channel.